Recently, I uploaded a video entitled The Lincoln Project, Lincoln in Motion, in which I recreated the 16th president in motion by using close sequential portraitures taken by Alexander Gardner in 1861 and 1865. I used modern morphing tools to create this effect. I have taken this further by researching studio photographs of other leading 19th century figures taken before the development of motion picture photography, and I believe the results have been equally interesting. This allows us to see these individuals in what is likely the closest we'll ever get to experiencing motion photography of each. They reveal something of the character of each person by seeing how they change facial expressions to accommodate the photographer's request for a slightly different pose. Everything you see is from the original photographs. I have not added any special effects not derived from the original photos. The following photographs date from the 1840s to 1880s. The motion clips will appear after this outline of what to look for. We begin with John Wilkes Booth, taken when he was a well-known actor before becoming the assassin of President Lincoln. What is striking is the way Booth moves forward between pictures, adopting what we see as a darker, more sinister persona. Our earliest photographs are next, with a sequence of poet Edgar Allan Poe. This is the only figure in this series where I was unable to find sequential outtakes from the same studio session. I used two photos of Poe taken at roughly the same period of his life. Like Booth, the motion shows Poe becoming seemingly darker and intense as he looks squarely into the camera lens. Another literary figure follows, that of Charles Dickens. In this case, it appears that a motion picture camera moves up to greet the writer, ending with a close-up of his features. A young Mark Twain photographed in the 1870s shows the humorist adopting a serious if somewhat quizzical look as he moves towards the camera. There are two images of Ulysses S. Grant, one in uniform taken during the Civil War and a second later in life. In the first, Grant's expression stays pretty stationary, but we can see his hand move into his vest and the lapel of his jacket move. In the second, Grant, who was the 18th president, turns towards the camera. This is followed by General George Custer in uniform. The effect almost could be imagined to show Custer surveying the landscape just before his disastrous last stand at Little Bighorn. We end this video by reprising the close-up of Abraham Lincoln taken in 1865, which was featured in our first video. And now spend a few moments moving into the 19th century courtesy 21st century technology.